it, it didn't feel um, didn't feel caster friendly. <clears throat> yeah, upload your fire. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I I put a timestamp on there. Yeah, I'm re I, re I recorded it. Yeah, that'll go up tonight for sure. Or tomorrow. These two wonder Mistress Kyle hath also delivered us until they care. Certainly Quantum Prime's power to have taken its toll, but she will recover. As for Alpha, I they insist on remaining draw mauled. Oh, Come to the conclusion they have. Yeah. Good fight. I died three times. Um one was the wish you were a dancer where you couldn't you 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 already ran when you shouldn't have run and you the beams were going from one corner to the other and i just you couldn't run you can't walk fast enough so, so i was like damn it i wish i was a dancer right now died um i ripped bahamut on one because i summoned him as soon as we got picked up off the ground um yeah no i didn't get i didn't get pulled I got knocked off one time with somebody else. And I forget what the third time was. Yeah, it was. It was it's it was a fun fight. I will say it's a very fun fight. I definitely liked it. I don't know, like perhaps not the same. I was created by Highland together with this place. It has been my duty to keep vigil over Zodiac, or rather, it was my duty. Fun fight. Definitely can't wait to do that on Extreme. That'll be fucking fun. I want to see what else they throw at you. That fight, not fun. That fight cannot be fun as a black mage or um, any kind of caster whatsoever. That, that fight utterly blows. But not without consequence, I'm afraid. For now, the delicate weave of the star, preserved by his presence, will begin to unravel. If you mean to avert the final days, you shall have need of. My attempts to force our zodiacs at least have put all the just my strength. If you might allow me to rest a short while, I will share with you all I can. By all means, if you review the chronology, I might suggest beginning with those in the upper floor. Okay. Of course, she wants to read. So leave that to unite while I see what I can glean from the crystals in these lower levels. And now a fetch quest. Go fetch these crystals. More. I must go ponder in my chair. Damn it. That's a great fight for the scholar. You gotta go fast button. Little gotta go fast juice. That is a perfect time for that. <clears throat> As you gaze into the crystal, ancient knowledge of Zodiac flows through your mind. Records of long, long vigil on the moon, dating back to the beginning of Zodiac's imprisonment. Okay. This is dope. You don't have to read him. You just touch him and you just, you just know shit. <gasps> don't fall down. <laughs> Fasty dashy, yeah. 
Records describe how, with each rejoining, Zodiac's thirst for freedom grew, as did the strain of the brands. Maintaining Zodiac's premise appeared to tax Highland greatly. Okay. Wish freedom was like that? That'd be great, huh? Just touch a book and then bam, you know everything. Like, holy shit, that book was awesome. Records describe the watcher's efforts to prepare in the event Odia broke free of his prison. The record goes on to describe maintenance carried out regularly with the Lorporitz. Lorporitz? Though it's not clear who or what they are. Don't worry. I just gotta touch all these crystals. I have knowledge. Now I'm hungry. Thanks. The watcher's musings when El Elibus is spotted on the moon, though clearly not for the first time. It is clear that he and his brethren have keen interest in freeing Zeriak from his prison, and yet they have made no attempt to destroy the brands. Perhaps they prefer he remain hidden from mortal eyes until the final rejoining. Perhaps they realize he would never dare bring harm to Zeriak so long as he remains in prisons. Yeah, see, this is what I want to know. I want to know more of this. Even better the second time, right? <laughs> the heavenly body we know to be the moon was in fact created by Heidelin. When the Watcher said he was created together with this place, I thought he only meant this facility. Truly, Highland's power is far beyond anything I could imagine. Tell us what you know. Dun, dun, dun. It is we who should thank you. The records stored here are nothing short of extraordinary. There is much we could learn of Zodiac and his imprisonment. He did. But perhaps you could offer us more focused guidance. Pray, tell us of the calamity that came before and comes now again. The answer we finally want. What the hell was the end of days? Long ago, before the Great Sundering, there was a single word. I don't know what that word is. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. The word is E. One day, from within the earth, a terrible cry issued forth, affecting a profound change in all manner of life. And this looks to appear to be what Ill, uh, Emmett Selk dungeon in Shadowbringers looked like with these creatures running about. We were not exempt. On our creation, magics ran rampant, giving shape and forms throughout hopeless, uh, throughout th from thoughts of hopelessness and despair. Yeah, we saw that. At first, the phenomenon was limited to a single region, but quickly, so very quickly, it spread and engulfed the whole of the star. Were the ancients ever able to deduce its source? Nay. We knew that. They were not. However, the convulsion struck upon a method to predict where the next corruption would manifest. Convocation. Convocation. And then they fall flat on my face. Bam! The etheric energies which flow through all creation in the form of various currents. The currents which course through the land 
and seas. Those which flow through the very air. And those of celestial nature, which encompass both our star and this moon. Celestial currents. I cannot say I am familiar with the concept. Nor would I expect it to be. Few scholars of our time knew of their existence. Their invaluable knowledge helped us better understand the nature of the flame. Ooh, okay. Get all sciencey on you. Uh, like the terrestrial ones on the earth and the air, the celestial currents from a vast network, but the ethereal dis distribution is not consistent. The convocation soon realized that the inciting incidents occurred in regions where the flow was the weakest. Correlation with uh, clear calls ultimately. Nevertheless, on a closer study, a static sea of ether was observed in nearby currents. And so they sought a means to harness the forces of darkness, of activity and growth. Thus was Zodiac conceived. No less a power than a god's could set right the laws of nature and quicken the flow of ether within the star. Precisely. With the admin of Zodiac, our end was averted. Follow the story, buckle your pants. Emmett for it. Selk claimed that those who summoned Hydalin did so because they saw Zodiac's power as a threat. Is that true? Have a good rest of the day, Sai. Indeed, there was a fraction opposed to Zodiac's creation but their aim was never to unmake him. They understood the continued preservation of the natural order was dependent on his very existence. Until we could identify and address the underlying cause in the final days, he would need to remain, or his departure would set in motion those apocalyptic forces once more. Oh, like we're doing right now. Highland recognized this as well, and so rather than destroy, she shunned the Zodiac herself and the star into lesser reflections that she might confine him in this place. Ah, the great sundering when she fractured herself into 14. Yes. That the two once dwelled as one until Zarya grew hungry for power, upsetting the balance twixt them. Not quite a lie, though a rather gross embellishment. But knowing what you know now, you must surely realize why she might opt to, uh, no. Heidelin and Zodark are both constructs of man, approximations of perfection limited by our own imperfections. Zodark was without question the more powerful of the two, having been born from the sacrifice of the half of the population, whatever the E's population is. Thus it was necessary for Heidelin to commit herself wholly to his defeat. Still more effort was needed to confine him. Maintain the brands taxed her greatly. With the power she dared spare, she cried out to any who might listen and offered her blessing to those who heeded her call. Oh, well, lucky me. Though it was likely within her power to do so, I believe she did not wish to speak in her history. If there is, I don't know his name. Like Zodiac, Kyla's purpose is a reflection of her creators. They wish to look to the future, not linger in prison for the past. The Asians set in motion seven rejoinings before we came to oppose them. How many more worlds would have been lost had we not placed our faith in her? How many more souls living in the present would have been snuffed out for the sake of those long dead? Well, in light of recent events, I see no reason to doubt your words. And even if Heidelin is not a god in truth, 
If Minfilia believes that we should trust in her plans, then I choose to do just that. Which brings me to a rather important question. Let's suppose we try but fail to stop this second coming of the final days. Should the source fall, what will become of the other worlds? Oh, will they die? Nomenclature is more fitting than you know. Bring rune to the source and its reflections will share its fate. Yeah. It is ready. What is ready? This way, if you be so kind. A beautiful sight, is it not? Yes, but what is it? Island knew better than any of her power was not absolute. Indeed, she has ever struggled to hold Zodiac in his faithful at bay. She feared the worst, and so she made preparations. In the event of his demise, there would be a contingency. The moon is more than a prison, it is a vessel capable of bearing uh, the people of to a safe harbor. In fact, I should be happy to take you to them. I fulfill my final duties to watch the dark. <laughs> there is a lot going on here. Those final duties. Time to come for you to be on your way. The crater at the heart of uh, Mar Lamatorium, where the Zodiac was imprisoned, is not so easily traversed, however. Let us call upon Argos, the familiar whom you met earlier. He should have no trouble bearing your cross. Argos. Woo! Five to go till DBS class is done. Nice. As Hadalyn created me as the gangler, she did create Argos as the guard. It is his nature to appear when needed, and yet he is nowhere to be found. Strange. The story just keeps getting more and more interesting. More and more. It's it's good so far. So to be specific, or to try to unscramble what they're saying, she actually sundered the star. To help weaken him because he was the more powerful one of the two so she could hold him at bay right she had to create the 14 reflections to weaken him or this and the thir 13 reflections you know whatever that's what it sounds like at least all right let's get back to it shall we Shan't we? All right, we're gonna have to cross. Let's see if I can remember this. I gotta make the 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 U, I think, because I can't traverse it like that. We need to come up on that side over there. 
No biggie. So you can actually fish out in this? What, what kind of creatures are you going to catch in there? letting the chocobo die we haven't done much <clears throat> much battle uh, like much combat in this don't mind me just passing through also don't mind me just passing through i dropped both of them interesting caverns here. Yes, here would do nicely. The lunar spongo spongo draw ether from the ground, which is where uh, which is then they disperse into the air. At present, however, the ambient energies are not quite sufficient for Argos to manifest. Spare some air. I to help. Okay. Why do we need the dog so badly? Of himself, that's pretty dope. That's kind of cool. My chocobo is getting greatly jealous. 
He's like, wait a minute. Does that mean you don't need another companion anymore? Nope. Dog's my companion now. I'm getting rid of you. So long, fucker. Moon's haunted. Can confirm. You arrive, should only take you to find a ship crew. The facility is designed to rouse them from their slumber in the main zodiac destruction. Heed their uh, counsel. Together, you can guide the star and its people to a kinder faith. This is where we part ways, but I know that I shall ever be watching and praying for your success. Our allies' assurances uh, notwithstanding, we cannot be certain what awaits the other side, so perhaps we best we do not go at all at once. I propose that two of us cross first while I think we're going away here. Yep. Oh yeah, go on with Yastola. Men's haunted. Structure is enormous. No, it's hardly a surprising given the size of the average. I certainly want him to blink out of existence on our account himself. <clears throat> okay. Cool. Magical flying glowy dog. Can't go wrong with that, right? wouldn't just ride him in here. <clears throat> All right, there seems to be a problem here because we got spoopy music going on. No one's here, not a soul. Our moonship pilot should be around here somewhere. Is that right? <clears throat> Supposedly. Oh shit, it's a bunny rabbit. There's a lot of them. This better not be the next race, Yoshi P. I swear to God. Oh, 
Oh my god. That's a lot of pilots. Music's from four, uh, Final Fantasy IV. Look lively, everyone. Oh, you are adorable. I know, I know. This 1,243rd inspection is a mite ahead of schedule, but it is of the utmost importance. For Zodiac, alas, is no more. <laughs> As of now, our mighty moon has a new purpose. To bear the people of Aetherius to safety. Aetherius. All right. Our time has come, my friends. Oh, Lord. I'm taking orders from the bunny. A la la bunny at that. We must be swifter than swift. There is much to do before our guests arrive. Why are you here? I expect your workstations to be immaculate. And don't forget to relay our signal to Atheris. 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 Questions? Yes? No? Maybe so? No? Then hop to it! Atheris. Mm-hmm. That's the look I would have to. It is a rather curious crew she hath chosen. Their endearing forms intended to ease the passengers' hearts, perhaps. <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> Thinker's like, what in the hell am I looking at? Thinker's dumbfounded expression. Not me, I'm afraid. Singing way. I'm in charge of the construction and maintenance of the <coughs> atmospheric circulation system. Only the crispest, cleanest air for the people of the years. And that's the promise. <clears throat> Clean air for them all. You're gonna get bored following me around the entire MSQ, man. Sleeping way my job is, perhaps I better ask. Dozing, dude. wasn't I told <laughs> take me to your leader <laughs> come with me if you want to live oh snappy here we go group 
compromised entirely with children. What must their parents be thinking? looking crystal. Place is very big. Right. Well, I mean, I know that. I've already attuned myself to it last night. The crystal's above it. That's what I was talking about. Hanging off the ceiling, too. Look cool looking. That's where she's at right up here. All right, here we go. Over here. How did I tune to it last night? Secrets, man. Secrets. Right. Of course. Introductions are in order. Oh God, secrets. <coughs> I've already got all the flight path over here. My name is Livingway, and we are the Lotherits, created for the express purpose of commanding this ship and bearing the people of Atheris to a brave new world. Hey, Ohan, what's going on, man? <clears throat> How's your day? Specifically, I am the one whom she charged with the execution of her most vital plans. You might say I'm her right paw. Oh, my lord. <laughs> good? Ah, it's good here, man. Nothing weighs the name. Map reader and navigator of the heavens. Mapping way. <laughs> well, at least these names are easy to remember. Pleasure to meet you all. But I'm still trying to make sense of this. Confusion and bewilderment are completely understandable. Fear not, I shall walk you through it. Please do. The people of Atherius, through no fault of your own, I'm sure, set in motion a series of events that, unfortunately, culminated in Zodiac's obliteration. Acutely aware of the imminent crisis, your parents said to you, little ones, on ahead while they began the necessary preparations. Still not following? No? Very well. I shall elaborate further. I don't think she understands. your home, and the moon, where we are now. Without Zodiac around to keep things lively, so to speak, the celestial currents of the star have doubtless begun to degrade. A calamity of apocalyptic proportions will be visited upon Atheris, bringing an end to all life. Very sad, that. <laughs> okay. So too hath the Watcher claimed. By thine unperturbed countenance, I gather this eventuality was anticipated. The doom and gloom. Oh yes, quite expected. Imagine, if you will, 
that a Therese is a delicious carrot that I've forgotten to eat and left out in the midday sun. The put... most earnest wishes or prayers will not stop it from rotting to the core. So sadly, there's nothing to be done but to abandon said carrot, a Therese, in case the metaphor is lost on you, to its grisly fate. And this moon will serve as the vessel to deliver us to a new home. Just so! We will gather up as many people, supplies, and resources as our stores will hold. And then, once everyone is aboard, it's off to another star! Oh, wait, what? Besides my paycheck that we're missing last week? Be replaced by Lebronis, yeah. Easier said than done, admittedly, for one does not simply hop from star to star on a whim, which is precisely why we've spent countless years constructing the most propulsive of propulsion systems. We're all gonna die at the hands of fucking rabbits. We ought to make it to our destination in two shakes of a rabbit's tail. Uh, how much does one shake cost? Take. Impressive technology. I dare say it is beyond anything we have ever seen. You can't fit everybody on Eorzea in here. No need to shower us with praise. All we've done is faithfully carry out the instructions left to us by Hydaelyn. Back in the old days, when she was still just Venar, she was dedicated to the study of the world and its inner workings. And the Watcher, the real one, not the simulacrum you met, was one of her fellow researchers. We and this wondrous vessel, masquerading as a moon, are products of their knowledge and know-how. There's certainly more to you all than meets the eye. Might I ask where exactly you intend to take us? We identified a few promising candidates for resettlement some time ago, but we cannot guarantee that they are fit for habitation. Oh, Lord. Moreover, the ship can only travel in short bursts. We intend to go down our list, hopping from star to star, until we find one suitable for resettlement. No need to worry, though. The vessel is being refurbished with accommodation for an extended stay as we speak. While we did have to rely upon outside help to determine what amenities were essential, I dare say we have risen to the challenge. Help? From who? <laughs> From you and yours! Who else? Each time we worked to perform regularly scheduled maintenance, we were greeted by the resources you sent us. What better way to learn about preferences and proclivities of our present-day charges? Ah, oh, but you're still adorable little children. Perhaps your elders were responsible for the deliveries. I'm not sure what led you to conclude otherwise, but I can assure you that we are all grown men and women. And I very much doubt my elders know this place exists, much less how to send you so much as a starlight missive. I will fucking punch you off the top of this balcony. Well, Amorotines were a great deal taller. In the present day, persons of such prodigious size are exceedingly rare. So, you're saying everyone's not like the Watcher? Oh, confound it all! Someone could have at least scribbled a note about your profound miniaturization! Holy shit. <laughs> that tome in thy possession. Oh, this? One of the first books sent to us. A 
compendium of the people of Atheris, with a few blank pages at the back for minor corrections and updates as needed. The sum total of our knowledge of your kind is contained in these pages. I thought it was abridged and made small for our benefit, but this isn't a regular sized book, is it? Oh, Lord. That's not rage inducing here. She's a little, she's a wee Perhaps one. you could tell us a bit more about your terrestrial collaborations. Yes, yes, in due time. But first, I'd like to hear more about you, if it's all the same. I'd rather not risk any other complications due to outdated knowledge of our passengers to be. So, did you get your paycheck, man? Quickly, it won't be long before the Foundation is upon us in a terrible grandeur. Oh, Lord. And then, boom, mini quest appear. Alright, so we need to go back. Oh, we need to go back over here. Yeah, about to go and spend it on booze. Oh yeah, what you buying? <clears throat> Actual booze, or are you doing like booze popsicles again? Just being a smart ass. <laughs> yeah, but to say I know you better than that. Red wine, my ass. Although if you get a steak though, I do say pick up some red wine. I must say. Last night you come in here, there's nothing in here because I hadn't got this far in the story. <laughs> it's hilarious. Pretty sure I nab nabbed all of them. The currents, yeah, I nabbed all of them. Oh, you can actually fight things in here. Oh, this is interesting. 
Well, well. Can't jump? Let's see. Yeah, I think so. Cooking way. This is great. This is great. Dude, I think this is bad. I'm sorry. Man. I don't know why the cord got stuck there. yourself to anything like okay examine the storage crate oh, this will be interesting they probably have nothing here that we would eat boop <laughs> Go to the storage to find a rainbow colored assortment of carrots. <laughs> Take a moment to reconsider. The ominous crimson. Yeah, we'll go with crimson. The soft texture and redolent aroma of the crimson creation and its staggering weight, the excess length and growth on a compound mystery, leaving perplexed as the nature of this carrot. This carrot. Yeah, fuck it. On second thought, you like to simply take an absurdly large carrot from now. Due to its bizarre qualities, it would be prudent to ask cooking whether or not safety first. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Obscenely large carrot. Bought a porter pack. Well, then see, you should have got red wine then. <clears throat> what? It... Then, you, then you should get red wine. Do I need to teach you? What's great? And you take a bite of the carrot. The carrot is oddly tender, but as you begin to chew, the rich aroma fills your nostrils. A newfound vigor begins within you. The rumbling of your stomach, however, suggests it may be simply indigestion. <laughs> Iron carrot. <laughs> What'd you think? I'm liking you ever taste it, yes? The iron carrot can be a bit difficult to adjust, but the boost to endurance it promises makes it the perfect meal before a day of heavy lifting. We have plenty of varieties too. Bleeding carrots to improve blood flow. Dream carrots to help with sleep. See, we have a carrot for every occasion. <laughs> have you had Breckenridge Vanilla Porter? Uh, Breckenridge, yeah, I can't say a Vanilla Porter though, no. That doesn't sound familiar. May I ask, what exactly do these collaborators share with you about Christine on the theorist? Surely you're aware we have an abundance of dishes of food you could emulate. Of course we are, but, well, it was quite recently we established contact. Even holding the conversation was a struggle at first, so I imagine to our surprise when he sent a mountain of books and documents with no clear instructions. The sheer amount of information was overwhelming. If it wasn't that for an encyclopedia I found, we would have been at a loss before we begin. So we decided rather than divide our resources to prepare a variety of Middling and unsetup up meal, we would be more efficient to devote our efforts to production of a single perfect, perfect food. You start cooking them. Mm. 
rather strange approach to take on a name Cooking Way, isn't it? Well, technically speaking, Cooking Way isn't my given name. When I first created it, we were all named Old Tongue, you know, otherwise. Great term of words, a dictionary that is from our collaborators. We learn the language, adverbs. Sim to form a new name, so aren't they helpful? <laughs> no, not really, but it doesn't explain a great deal. <laughs> They have a cookie dough porter too. Can I can't even hear in a car? I'm driving. There's all different kinds of wine, dude. 